Okay, here we have a question on formula substitution. It's an algebra based question. Now I know a lot of students have a difficulty with algebra at foundation level, but it's a good way of increasing your grade, uh, marks on your grade, because if you find something difficult, that's the one that you can make the most difference in. So it's wor really worth working hard on the algebra to make it better. Obviously, you should be trying to have a go at this question before I go through it, so do pause the video if you haven't done it already. Okay, so we have a formula, h equals 2a plus 3b. We're given a value for a, we're given a value for b, we've got to work out the value of h. Now, it, I do find it, uh, with students, find it difficult when they have a formula for some reason. If I just cover up the h part, and I said 2a plus 3b, a is 5, b is minus 1, what's the value of that? Um, students tend to find that a bit easier. So a, if you imagine a to be a box that uh, we can put numbers into, so we've got two lots of a box with a written on it. So a is 5, so we've got uh, two lots of 5, and then we've got three lots of b, three lots of, remember that means times, negative 1, so 2 lots of 5 is 10, 3 lots of negative 1 is negative 3, and 10 added to negative 3 gives us 7. It's just like taking away 3. So the value of that expression is 7. So that's what h equals. h equals the value of that. And we just worked it out to be 7, so h equals 7. Okay, another formula here p equals 3h squared. Now this is testing you know how to do the order of things. We've not got a calculator to help us, so we've got to be careful how we do things here. h is minus 4, also testing that you can multiply negative numbers. Again, I'm going to cover up the p, because that's what we're trying to work out, just so that doesn't confuse you. Um, 3 lots of h squared, so 3 times h squared, and h squared is h times h. If we write it out like that, we shouldn't make a mistake. Now, the, the, the most common mistake here is students will work out 3 times minus 4, and then they'll do the squaring, which is wrong, because we must do the powers. There's like an in, invisible bracket here. Um, bid mass, bob mass tells us that we must do powers or indices before we do multiplying. So this power has to be done first. And if we write it out as 3 times h squared, h times h, that will help us to remember that. So 3 times minus 4 times minus 4. Now, it doesn't matter what order you do this. In fact, what I would do is I would ignore the negatives completely and just do the numbers. So we've got 3 times 4 is 12, times by 4 is 48. And the rule for when you do lots of multiplications, including negatives, is if we count up the negatives, there's two of them. If there's an even number of negatives, the answer is positive. So we just leave it as 48. If there's an odd number of negatives, say there was three negatives, then the answer would be negative. Or if there's one negative, the answer would be negative. But it's because there's an even number, they cancel out, and that gives us a positive answer. So work out the value of p. Well, p equals that, 3h squared. So that's what p equals. p equals 48. So p equals 48. Now, there are some marks in this for uh, method or working. So if you're showing that you know, need, you know how to times that uh, 2a means times, 2 times 5, and uh, 3b means 3 times minus 1. If they see that, or if they see um, a 10 and a minus 3, then you would get one of the two marks. If you then made a mistake and did 10 plus minus 3 and you thought that was, I don't know, minus 13 or something, then you would get one method mark. But if you just wrote the wrong answer, you get nothing. It's very important you show all your working on GCSE questions that are worth two or more marks. Similarly with this one, if you wrote this out, or if you wrote three times minus four squared, um, so that you're showing that you know that you've got a square before you times, or you write three times minus four times minus four, like I did, then you will get a method mark. Um, if you mess up by putting minus 48, then you will get one out of two. Okay, so four marks there for algebra. Very important you work on your algebra skills to make them better.